My name is Russell Schumacher. I sold technology to the world back when there was technology. If you can sell it to. First few weeks on the road, I found comfort in human contact, relished the chance to silence my own thoughts, hear other people's stories. But leaving Pennsylvania, I started to question my approach. Luther had no family, nowhere to go. Said he'd always wanted to see Seattle, suggested we make the trip together. It made sense, safety in numbers, but I convinced him we were safer splitting up, that catching me was probably JD's number one priority. Thanks for getting me out of that nut house. Hope you find what you're looking for, Russ. Truth was, I was looking for a lighter load. Didn't want to be responsible for Luther. Didn't want that burden. Didn't need others' problems. I had enough of my own. I stayed out of sight, put on blinders, focused on my goal. My family needed me to be selfish, but I was still conflicted. Was still living off the dregs of civilization, but there was a certain freedom I started to enjoy. For years, I kept a stack of books next to my bed to read someday. With no deadlines or distractions, I was finally catching up. From a distance, you would have thought I'd actually assimilated. Still had some hard lessons to learn, though. Like never leaving food uncovered. The fall didn't seem to have any physical effect on animals. But with so few people around, they became bolder, less afraid of us. Never had rabies before. Didn't even know if that raccoon was infected. But I couldn't risk it. I needed help. Unfortunately, the first place I came to was a ghost town. If you thought healthcare was bad before the fall, imagine when all the medicine ran out. Food can always be found if you know where to look. But pharmaceuticals? There was only a finite amount. In Aurora, somebody'd cornered the market on every bandage and medication known to man. It was everything I'd been trying to avoid. But there I was, caught up in somebody else's problems.